Hello to all you dear Aquarians, how are you doing? This is the first horoscope of the year of 2021 for January and um, for those of you who have a birthday at the end of January, happy birthday of course and uh, let's have a look at what this energy is all about for January and oh boy are you in the spotlight yeah absolutely so uh, I will be talking about the Mercury retrograde in your sign about Venus in um, uh, Capricorn and about Mars in Taurus so let's start with the um, a lot of energy in your water houses so and so the water houses, it, it is the element of water. It is the element of connections, of emotions. Um, but for you, these are uh, tangible areas of life because they are in earth signs. So as from the seventh of the month, Mars is finally entering a new sign after being like for ages in Aries, it's now shifting towards uh, Taurus. And that is the core of your horoscope. So. Uh, in a nutshell, the fourth house is literally your home, it's your family, it's your parents, it's your roots, but it's also your emotions, your emotional welfare, the emotional well-being of a person. And uh, so having that very active planet there um, shows that there's going to be a lot of activity either at home, maybe you're working from home, um, or just on an emotional level. Um, you want to change certain things there. Now, it's a, a bit of a specific Mars there. Why? Because around the 20th of the month, Mars is going to conjoin with Uranus and Lilith. And that's a very freeing up energy. So in other words, if you have been fed up with your situation at home or with a parent or um, literally having enough of the place where you live, for instance, this could be the energy uh, of uh, freeing yourself up, of saying, yeah, I'm going to, as from now, def um, uh, in a way that uh, definitely I'm going to work from home or I'm going to do my own business. I see that quite often as well with Uranus in the fourth house. You're doing something unusual at home. Um, so, but this energy, although it is a bit electrifying, all of a sudden energy that could be associated with uh, reveling a little bit, I think you will be fine. Why? Because this Mars in Taurus, in an Earth sign, goes well with Venus in Capricorn, which is now in your 12th house. So that it, it's another water house. It's the house of the unconscious, and it's also the house of, um, how would you say, Venus in the 12th is a very compassionate energy, a comp an, an energy of forgiveness. So whatever it is that is... Um, uh, you want to free yourself up from whether it is uh, a connection with a parent right maybe you want to free yourself up and you're doing it you're distancing yourself uh, a little bit there there's also the compassion there to forgive yourself with venus in the 12th and to forgive others so this is really very um i see it a bit as uh you could say healing energy going on for you there of old wounding of wounding around emotions um, you could really stand up for your own emotions um, and of course you know the people that you live with they will <laughs> they will notice um, but there's also that uh, negotiation uh, compassion energy with the Venus in the 12th house so I, I think you'll be fine I think you're not going to burn ships or anything um, maybe some of you will have to do that because they have uh, uh, been letting themselves walk all over them way too much, then this is a good time to stand your ground for sure. Um, but for a lot of people, it will have to do with, uh, you know, on a more mundane level about selling the house and uh, or buying a new house. Um, and um, so the energy around that, that maybe you've been You've been preparing yourself for that for quite a long time and now all of a sudden things are uh, more possible. I say all of a sudden because of this Uranian energy there. So um, quite an intense month because of the, uh, the because it's in water houses, it's always a bit more intense there. But I think it's flowing energy as well. 
Venus in the 12th house is also a good time to take a bit alone time and to enjoy that. that therefore, I see that a lot with Venus in the 12th. People are getting a bit more, um, you know, maybe drawing a little bit on their own and having a bit of me time. Um, they, they can reload their batteries because of that. Another thing is, of course, so much activity in your sign. I talked about that in uh, December, then uh, Jupiter and Saturn entering your uh, sign. So that is about expansion, but at the same time at a, a, a maturity cycle with Saturn there. But now you're going to have Mercury there as well. So a good time to profile yourself in a different way. Because at the end of the month of January, around the 30th, 31st, you're going to have Mercury going backwards. So it means that you reassess yourself. But you reassess not only yourself in a physical way, maybe you're saying, ah, oh, I have long hair, I want short hair, or I have short hair, I want extensions, or whatnot. Um, there could be a reassessing not only of the looks, but also of your life path, because that's the ascendant. And you've got time to do so. So it starts at the end of the month, and uh, Mercury goes direct again around the 22nd of the month of February. So you've got time to reinvent yourself here and um, to um, and then when Mercury goes direct again to really um, that would be more towards the end of February, actually. Um, but um, that you really say, hey, this is a new me. This is a, um, this is how I reassess myself and how I see myself now and how I put out energy uh, like this. So. You're gonna that you're gonna feel that in your relationships later on. That because when you change, the world around you changes, and they can uh, people that are very close to you on the relationship level, they can do two things: they change with you or not. So um, there's not a good or a bad, uh, but that's for later in the upcoming months. Having said that, thank you so much for watching, dear Aquarians. Have a very good month there and uh, all the best to you. Bye-bye.